Toma News presents Dog Rescues. Good boy. Good doggy. Hero Dog rescues best friend from raging river rapids. Or does he? In an epic video uploaded on January 17th, a game of fetch between two dogs gets out of hand and looks like it could end badly. Two Labrador Retrievers, a yellow and a black one, were playing fetch with their owner by what appears to be some pretty gnarly river rapids. When the stick got thrown a bit too far, the black lab bounded ahead as the yellow lab hung back. As he tried to gather himself, the black lab slipped, careening down the rocks with the relentless rapids threatening to sweep him away to death. Realizing his buddy was in serious danger, the yellow lab jumped into action, grabbing the stick and using every last bit of jaw strength in him to pull his buddy back in. Holding onto that stick for dear life, the yellow lab manages to yank his friend back onto the rocks to safety. What an awesome friend and a hero. Or is he? Watch the video again. How dangerous do you think those raging river rapids really are, given that their owner seems fine to play fetch over there? And is that really rushing water or just a creek with a cool stream? And does it look to you like the yellow lab is trying to rescue his friend or just steal his stick and claim victory? Hmm, after examining the replay, we here at Tomo News reverse our call. Seems that Yellow Lab's just a jerk going after his buddy's stick. Dogs might be man's best friend, but when it comes to each other, good luck. SPCA rescues injured dog with rubber band collar. SPA workers rescued a dog that locals had noticed and described as the balloon-faced dog. Rescuers found that the dog had a rubber band wrapped around its neck, which had partially cut off its blood flow and resulted in the dog's head becoming extremely swollen. The rubber band had also severed the dog's vocal cords and it was unable to bark. Veterinarians removed the rubber band, which may have been put on the dog maliciously or perhaps gotten stuck on its head when it was younger and smaller. Rescuers estimate the dog to be around three months old and it appears that the rubber band had been trapped around its neck for a month or more. The dog, which has been nicknamed Lucky, is now in recovery and awaiting adoption. Dog discarded at meat market gets second chance and prosthetic legs. At first glance, this two-year-old golden retriever mix, Chi-Chi, looks as happy a dog as you might ever see. But her good nature and lovable smile don't reveal a hint of the horrors she's endured over her short life. Young Chi-Chi was the victim of unimaginable cruelty from the time she was born slated to become one of the reported 2.5 million dogs slaughtered annually in South Korea's underground dog meat trade, where there are no laws or regulations requiring the humane slaughter of dogs for meat. Every day, she was hung upside down, her legs bound by ropes and wires, and beaten by handlers, under the belief that a dog's meat is more tender when tortured. At some point, Chi Chi's keepers realized that the bindings around her legs had cut through her flesh, causing parts of her body to become grossly infected. They came to the conclusion that her meat would likely be too rancid for human consumption and disposed of her in a dumpster behind the meat market shortly afterward, still alive. Scared and alone, Chi Chi was later found by a group of Good Samaritans who immediately contacted an animal rescue organization willing to help the dog in noticeable distress. The rescue team then gathered her up and rushed her to an emergency veterinary clinic. There, doctors diagnosed that her four legs had indeed rotted to the bone, the infection spreading to the rest of her body. If she was to have any chance at survival, Chi Chi would have to undergo a quadruple amputation procedure, effectively cutting off the infection, but consequently leaving her with mere stubs for paws. Though the surgery was successful, it was anyone's guess as to how Chi Chi might adapt both physically and emotionally, after all the trauma she'd been through. But this resilient pup, whose name translated means loving, proved to be a fighter like the world has maybe never seen. ARM, the Los Angeles-based animal welfare group who saved Chi Chi, reports that the day after her surgery, she was wagging her tail and already attempting to walk. A couple days later, remarkably, she was somehow managing to get around on her stumps. Demonstrating she could be a good candidate for prosthetics, Chi Chi was fitted with four new legs and spent the following two months getting used to her new footing. It may not have been easy, but she sure made it look that way, running around on her prosthetic paws chasing balls with reckless abandon like any normal dog would. 
Through social media and news coverage, her inspiring story caught the attention of the world, in particular a family in Arizona. The Howells, who have three dogs already, reached out to Arm to complete Chi Chi's journey and offer her a loving home. When she was deemed ready, Chi Chi was flown 6,000 miles from Seoul all the way to LA where her rescuers and her new family picked her up and brought her to her new home in Phoenix this past week. The Howells say she still has a long road of rehab and recovery ahead of her, and it may not always be a walk in the park. But despite her physical limitations and psychological trauma, they say Chi Chi appears boundless in her enthusiasm for life. It's hoped her story of being able to forgive and continue to smile in the face of adversity will act as a lesson to people everywhere about how to journey onwards and keep moving forward one step at a time. That poor puppy. New Year's Eve was harrowing for one terrier who almost lost a paw to an escalator at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The dog was flying back to New York with its humans that night and was walking up an escalator when its hind leg was swallowed by the escalator guard. The freaked out owners attempted to free their pooch only to get bitten by the distressed animal. Airport security tried to help but couldn't free the pup without the proper tools. Firefighters eventually saved the day, freeing the terrier from the escalator's clutches and returning it to its humans, both of whom refused treatment for their bites. The dog wasn't seriously injured, but the incident should serve as a warning to keep animals off the moving steps. Abused dog yelps in fear when petted for the first time. The painful sound of this dog shrieking in fear at getting petted for the first time since being rescued hits us right in the feels. The video from November 11th shows the dog at Bresta Animal Shelter in Romania. According to Fox 29 Philadelphia, the scared puppy was sent to the UK on December 19th to be fostered and build up his confidence. Subsequent videos show the dog, which has been named Kane, adjusting to a life of nurturing care instead of abuse. According to Fox 29, an animal rescue worker connected to the Bresta shelter said Kane will be kept in foster care for now until he is adopted by an owner. Rasta dog among dozens of neglected animals rescued from German home. On January 12th, at a home in Bad Unhausen, 62 dogs were seized, found covered in their own filth, the victims of years of neglect. This pooch's fur was so matted, animal care workers almost confused it with a sheep. When they realized it was a dog, they called in reinforcements to help give the poor dog a much-needed haircut. A thorough snippety-snip to leave the old urine and feces-drenched coat behind, a nice warm bath, and voila! Rasta dog is no more. It's amazing what a good pair of grooming shears can do. Five guinea pigs were also found in need of help, one with a bad hairstyle of his own. So bad, in fact, some of his skin had torn off due to the weight of the excess fur. After the spot treatment, though, he too appears to be in much better shape. Along with the guinea pigs, a couple of rabbits were also rescued, and in total, 69 animals were placed into two nearby shelters. A social media plea resulted in donated dog food, shampoos, a shearing machine, and some funds to help out until homes could be found for the now cuddly creatures. Meanwhile, an investigation to identify and locate the person behind this disgusting display of neglect is underway. Heartwarming photo saves two dogs' lives. Puppies Kala and Kara were doing hard time at an Atlanta animal shelter and were on their way to death row until a cute picture of them went viral, leading to their rescue. These cute little canines had a nice life, but the time was nigh for them to join the other 1.2 million U.S. shelter dogs that are euthanized each year. However, an Angels Among Us pet rescue attendant had a plan. She took the cutest photo ever of two dogs about to be put to death in the hope that someone out there would come to their rescue. Some pooch-loving superheroes moved by the picture arrived exactly two hours and six minutes later to adopt the photogenic pups, sparing them from their death sentence. If the picture alone didn't save these two, the accompanying caption alone might have done the trick as well. It read, <laughs> She's so brave and tells me it'll be okay no matter what happens. She tells me to be brave too, but I don't know if I can be. Holy crap, now that's touching. 
One of the pup's new parents works as a vet, so clearly this isn't the first dog this unnamed hero has saved. But now, what on earth do we do with the other 1,999,999 pooches that need a home? Dog who lost both eyes finds an owner. Meet Ashton, a two-year-old pup who's proven to have one hell of a fighting spirit. Weeks ago in Phoenix, Ashton was found collapsed on the side of the road. Staff at the Arizona Humane Society said when they were called to rescue him, the dog was severely exhausted and his eyes were hanging out of their sockets. Emergency surgery was performed and luckily Ashton's life was saved, even though his sight was lost. It's not easy to navigate the world without eyes, but Ashton had the good fortune of having the Humane Society's behavior team helping him learn how to get around using his other senses. Though the Humane Society staff said he was back to wagging his tail and enjoying a good pet, it would be natural to worry this dog's life was not going to get any easier. But after being on the adoption list for only two days, Ashton has now found a family to love and care for him. In a fitting end to this tale of resilience, along with their new pal, these folks are also proving that what's even more important than being able to see with our eyes is being able to see with our hearts. California says you may now break into hot cars to rescue pets. Hot dogs of America, the people of California are coming to your aid. The Golden State's governor, Jerry Brown, announced a new law this week that will allow Good Samaritans to break into cars to save suffocating pooches. Under Bill AB 797, if a dog is spotted in a hot car, people in California will no longer have to stand idly by, helpless as the animal is cooked alive. But not so fast. Concerned citizens must first make sure the car's doors are locked and that there is no clean way to enter the vehicle. Citizens must also first contact law enforcement to report the situation. Only if the cops don't arrive fast enough and the dog appears to be overheating does it become legally permissible to rescue the animal by any means necessary. Citizens will then have to wait by the car for police officers to arrive. The Right to Rescue Act was passed unanimously by a vote of seven to nil dog lovers. Firefighters save dog impaled on fence. A poor little dog found himself impaled on a fence spike on Saturday in Gaston County, North Carolina. According to firefighters, Wilbur the Labrador probably underestimated the distance of the jump. Seems like Wilbur was jumping to catch some bugs but got his bearings wrong. When his owners got home, they quickly dialed 911 for help. Firefighters used a battery-operated metal cutter to cut out a portion of the fence, and surprisingly, Wilbur remained calm. Wilbur was rushed to an animal hospital, and thanks to the firefighters and vets, he's now successfully recovering. Dog impaled with arrow gets rescued by Chinese animal shelter. Photos of a dog who was shot in the chest with an arrow have gone viral on Chinese social media and drawn attention to the plight of stray dogs in the country. A Chinese netizen identified only as Ren Hui spotted the dog at Yingxing Hospitality Management College in the city of Chengdu in China's Sichuan province. Ren Hui posted photos of the injured animal on her Weibo account, along with a call for the public to help. Volunteers from the Sichuan Qiming Companion Animal Protection Center saw the post and found the dog. They removed the arrow, but the dog got scared and ran off. It was later found again and taken to a veterinary hospital for medical treatment. Fortunately, the arrow did not damage its internal organs. Photos of the poor animal sparked public outrage, with some Chinese netizens saying the perpetuator is a piece of human garbage or depraved. Others actually said they hoped the perpetuator would die. In China, stray dogs are sometimes shot with arrows and then captured by dog catchers. In May, a stray dog with an arrow sticking out of its head was spotted in Beijing 798 Art District. And in August, another stray dog that had been shot with an arrow was found in Wuhan. Both dogs were rescued and have been treated for their injuries. Dog marooned in icy river, saved by firefighters. This is Cooper, a golden retriever poodle cross, and he's in a bit of trouble. Here he is, stuck on a tree in Boston's frigid Charles River. And he was done for, until firefighters right waited out to rescue him. <laughs> His owners say he'd bolted during a Saturday walk along the riverbank. They posted up flyers around the neighborhood and, luckily, got the call on Sunday. Someone had spotted Cooper in his icy death trap. 
So Wellesley firefighters geared up and went to work. Chris, it's okay, buddy. Maybe it's all, right. all the way out. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Good thing it wasn't Group oh, B's yeah. engine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cooper. Cooper. The unlucky mutt was reunited with his family and is probably going to be grounded until summer. Hero rescues woman and her dog from Louisiana floods. Scores of people abandoned their vehicles to run for higher ground as deadly flooding hit Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Saturday. But one woman almost drowned while inside a car half submerged in the floodwaters. If it wasn't for a couple of men on a boat, she'd probably still be in there. In a video of the incident, the woman is heard calling for help. Rescuers try to break the window but fail. The car keeps sinking, and pretty soon the woman is fully underwater. Finally, one man jumps in and starts tearing through the convertible's roof. The hero, later identified as David Fung, manages to pull the woman out to safety. But instead of a thank you, the woman barks out, Get my dog! Get my dog! And is distraught when her savior can't locate the pooch. I'll go down. And just when everybody assumes the dog is done for, Fung dives in and manages to finally save the puppy. What a hero! Hero Colombian cop saved dog from certain muddy death. Earlier this week, a dangerous landslide killed more than 60 people in Salgar, Colombia. During a search for survivors, police spotted a dog drifting rapidly down a raging river. Wasting no time, the officers tried to rescue the dog, risking their own lives while jumping into the muddy river. Until one brave officer jumps in and manages to grab the dog and save his life. But it's not over yet, as the dog was in bad shape, so one cop had to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. The exhausted dog was carried to a police car where he was given fluids, after which he was taken to a close-by city for further care. Police said if he can't find his owner, that the dog, nicknamed Prince, will be welcomed into their police family. 